Buying a condo in Toronto is a dream for every young and seasoned real estate investor these days. It is a big decision that requires a lot of money and proper planning. You need to know the ins and outs of everything related to the condo market in Toronto. What are the additional hidden costs involved in the process? What are the major factors that can make your decision of investing in pre-construction condo market a successful one? My name is Ladi Dillon, a real estate broker with Remax actively involved in selling and investing in Toronto condo market. So without any further ado, let's get to the topic. These are the things you need to consider when investing in pre-construction condos. Number one, location. The very first thing you need to know is the location of the property. What kind of neighborhood this condo building is going to be located in? Is it a ghetto neighborhood? or an upscale trendy one. The location makes a big impact on your rate of return on your investment. So you have to have some knowledge about the neighborhood before making your decision of buying a condo in any location. Number two, public transit. Another important factor that is also related to location is public transit. The majority of population living in the city closer to the downtown do not like to keep a car so public transit is very important. A couple of minutes of walk to the subway or bus stop plays a great role in making it attractive to you and your tenants and provide you with a better return on your investment. You need to know your target potential tenant. If you are not planning to move in and it's your investment property, you need to rent it out to a tenant. Once again, location plays an important role in this aspect as well. If you are buying closer to a college or a university, your target tenant would be a student or a teacher. If you are buying closer to the financial district, then you are looking for someone working in stock exchange, a bank or something similar. So you need to keep that in your mind before when you are deciding on your purchase. It can be decided later on as well. But going with a solid plan always make your life a lot easier down the road. If you have come this far in this video, you must have learned something new today. So I would like to ask you, please take one second and click on the like button. That will make YouTube show this video to more people. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel so far, please click on subscribe button as well so you can watch more of my videos full of useful information that I'm going to upload in coming days. Price range, that's very important. Now we discuss the price point of your investment. Everyone has their own budget, so do you. According to your affordability, you decide on the project. The condo project in high-end locations or in core downtown area are costlier than the uptown condo projects. But at the same time, the rent is also more in prime locations and the price grows faster in better locations than not so prime locations. Once again, it depends upon your capability or on your financial strength. You need to pay special attention to development charges. It was not the major factor a few years ago. But in the last few years, since the cost of condos is on the rise and with everything getting so expensive, the development charges have gone somewhat out of control if not paid attention to in the beginning. Since the increasing cost of everything, it is better to cap this cost with the builder at today's cost. If not done in the beginning, you might need to pay the increased cost at the time of the closing. Your realtor can play an important role here to save you a lot of money if he knows what to do in this situation. Must check developer's reputation. Now after looking at the location, transit, cost and development charges, another big point to discuss is the reputation of the developer or the builder. All the builders are not the same. Some of them keep their promise to finish the project on time, others delay the delivery of the condo units. And a couple of years ago, maybe you heard that there was a developer who ran away with the deposit money of the purchasers. Even though that was a rare scenario, so working with a reputable developer is advisable. Bigger developers have a reputation to keep in the market, so they strive to achieve excellence. Demographics. If you do a little bit homework and try to see any major changes are coming in the demographic of the location that you are planning to purchase in, it can give a big boost to your investment goals. Suppose there is a new mall or plaza with big name brand stores that are scheduled to open in a few years, or the subway extension is happening soon, or something similar is being planned for the area by the city hall or the province. That could be a game changer scenario. Plan for the long term. Pre-construction condo investment most of the time are not quick flips. They require long-term investment plans. In the long term, I mean at least three plus years if not more. I have seen most buildings get delayed to give occupancy to the purchasers. In most cases, this delay works in favor of the investor or the purchaser. 
it gives you more time for the price appreciation on your condo before even you get the keys from the builder my team have been working as real estate brokers and also as investors ourselves in pre-construction industry for last more than 14 years and we can answer all your questions about investing in pre-construction condo market from our personal first-hand experience so if you have any questions on this topic please feel free to contact us or leave a comment below see you soon in my next video bye for